guess we got an extra. Let's do an extra. Solo shots. A long time. All right, let's go. Let's do the damn thing. Let's go, Mark. Yeah. You didn't know my first job ever. I was selling t-shirts for a guy named Luke Bryan and now we've got our own merch, our own t-shirts, so uh, things are looking up. My freshman year, that's when I started playing in the bars and, and just uh, at that point, you know, I wasn't even writing songs. I was just on stage in love with entertaining, uh, even though it might only be 10 people. Later in my college years, after I was playing the bars, I realized that, man, all these songs people are singing back to me, I, they need to be songs I wrote. That's how I got my start. I uh, had some songs recorded by other artists. I had songs recorded by Luke Bryan, Thomas Rhett, Florida Georgia Line, before I ever got a record deal, before my first single, Chillin' It, ever hit the radio. Before anybody knew I was a singer, I was a songwriter. It's not a lot to do but wait, sit around and wait. That's what this game is. So I like to get away from the bus, get away from the venue, whether it's golf, whether it's hitting the gym, going to catch a baseball, football game, whatever it is, if there's anything going on. Uh, I just like to get away, kind of clear my head. I feel like everybody now I play with plays music in the car. So. Growing up, that wasn't really a thing. I don't even know if we had the devices to do that now. It's nice to have a little music, not so quiet. Can we put money on this? I'm trying to birdie two in a row on me, okay? <laughs> See if I bring him out here again. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> The best advice I ever got from a buddy of mine, Luke Bryan, and I remember asking him, which I get these emails now from, from kids all over, like, what, what should I do to write songs? What should I do? And I remember Luke wrote me back an answer with one word. The word was live. And the older I get, the more I look back. I mean, you live and you learn and uh, you write about it. Where's the stage? This way. Like I said, if anybody needs to know, the stage is this way. I told you. You know, everybody you know wants to know how do you write a song? What's the the recipe? And I don't think there is one. I think you just gotta let it happen. Gotta take it in. What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? Hello. What's up, buddy? Some days you come in with a title. Some days you come in with an idea. Some days you come in with nothing. Out of all the songs I've written, I think my favorite has to be You Should Be Here. It's, uh, I lost my dad several years ago in a freak accident, and I never knew putting myself out there like this, writing about a real life experience that, you know, I knew I needed to hear it, but I don't think I knew how many other people needed to hear it. And there's not a night that goes by that uh, I don't hear a You Should Be Here story. I think everybody's got one, you know. Everybody's lost somebody that, you know, in those moments in life where things are special. It's just, you're just missing that one person. That's what You Should Be Here is all about. You should be. And I'll never forget the day I wrote that. And I know my dad, the kind of guy he was. Uh, if he'd have known, you know, him leaving a little early would inspire a song that could help so many, he'd have been cool with it. Can't leave the band. They get to come in and hang, grab a drink, and go play a couple of acoustic songs. And a little meet and greet, take some pictures, sign some stuff. There we go. What's up, y'all? I fell in love with being on stage a long, 
long time ago. Then I got into the songwriting thing, but being able to write songs and perform them, you know, that's uh, the ultimate dream. All right, night two, Texas. Reason to drink another tour. It's been an awesome day. Got a little golf, sound check, chill. All right, win the night right here on three. You ready? One, two, three. Win, win the, the night. night. People ask, you get nervous before shows, and I don't even know if it's nervous. I think it's just anxious. It's all that emotion. You know, I can hear everybody yell when it blacks out, all the lights black out, you can hear the crowd. Those three or four seconds when it's just quiet, I hear them yelling and I'm just standing there in front of the screen. Oh, this is about to be awesome. It's almost like the calm before the storm. Everything's just, just silent and then boom. from people like, do you get tired of taking pictures or do you get tired? I'm like, no, I mean, I, one day people aren't gonna want a picture. And you know, without the folks in those seats out there every night, I can't imagine what it'd be like. I know that it doesn't happen like this for everybody. There's a lot of people that have put hours and hours and years, and that, I think that helps me not take it for granted, knowing that you know, at any point this could end. <laughs>